everyone, it's Sarah, and I'm going to use a sketch today for this layout. Um, first, I'm showing you, hey, watch an American Horror Story. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a story behind that, let me tell you. Um, first, I am going to be using my Studio Calico Camelot kit. So this is the first layout that I'm doing with this kit. And I hadn't planned on working on it quite yet. I was actually probably going to wait till next week. But then I realized I'm actually doing a readathon next week. Um, so next week is probably not going to be a lot of scrapping for me because I'm going to be concentrating on reading instead. So I thought, you know what, I should go ahead and do a few layouts, you know, this week and get that done before my readathon starts. And then uh, Victoria Marie posted in her group that um, the Wednesday challenge was a sketch challenge. So that was a good push for me to uh, get one page done here and... Um, I got it done pretty quickly in about 40 minutes, so it was it was good. Uh, so what I'm doing is I am scrapping about the first chapter book that Kaylin ever read. It's a little frozen chapter book. Uh, they have a little series going on that is like after the movie storyline, and um, she really wanted it, so we got it for her. That was, that was the first one, and so I took a picture of it on her bed. And uh, we were just really proud of her. That was the first one she ever read by herself. And it's like a fourth grade reading level. And she's going into second grade. So <laughs> it's pretty um, pretty awesome. Okay, so uh, background paper there. All the paper that I'm using is Studio Calico. And um, so I, I cut this little ticket thing out here from the cut apart sheet. And I'm using my one inch hole punch. And I'm going to punch out this thing that says number one because this is the first you know, first chapter book, first book in the series, all that good stuff. I have a really hard time um, using that, my creative memories hole punch. <laughs> it's like I'm, I, I need to get to the store and get a different one because it doesn't even punch very well anymore. Um, the edges are really, um, they're not clean edges, I guess, when you punch it now. So, and it's just awkward. So I need to go get a new one. Anyway, so um, I am going to work on my title here in a second. So I pulled out this gold doily, and what I did with this kit, because so this is the Camelot kit, and I also was going through my room recently and just kind of putting some things away and kind of organizing a little bit, and I realized I still had some products from a Studio Calico line. It was like a very limited edition line. They did a little line of products, and they also included like um, an inspiration book, and it was called Jubilee, and I purchased it when it came out a few years ago. And I still had some of the stuff from the line. So it had like, um, it had a little six by six pattern paper pad and it had sequins and a doily and um, just kind of random stuff here and there. So I took that stuff out because there wasn't too much of it left and I stuck it in with my kit here. So I'm going to actually be using that stuff up as well along with this kit. I hadn't made that decision when I did my, um, my picture selection, so that's why I didn't include it in that video. But uh, yeah, so you're going to see a few things that I actually use on this layout from that as well. Okay, so I got my title done with these gorgeous, gorgeous Studio Calico rubber letters. Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> I just really love the font. I think they're gorgeous. Okay, so I'm pulling out a few things here. Uh, these 4 by 6 cards are from the Jubilee line as well as this, pa this pad right here. I think this might be 8x8, actually. They look bigger than 6x6. Six six. I guess those are 8x8 eight eight pattern papers. Uh, so I'm pulling out some blues here because the very faint floral pattern in my background paper there are blue. So I kind of want to pull that out a little bit. And um, so I pulled out two of the large 8x8 pattern papers, and I'm going to layer them up together. And, I, and then I also pulled that 4x6 cloud paper, which I really like clouds with a book themed layout or a reading themed layout because it's just kind of, you know, Kate Spade had a um, a cover for an e-reader and it said she kept her nose in a book and her head in the clouds. So I always think of like head in the clouds when you're reading. So that's why I use the little cloud paper there. Um, so I'm just kind of layering my stuff up here and trying to see exactly how I want to put everything down and what exactly I want to use because I pulled out some cork stars by I, I vetoed those and I'm not going to use those rub-ons either um, I'm going to bring gold in a different way along with the doily there okay so I'm going to go ahead and start getting my stuff stuck down here um, so let me tell you about American Horror Story while I'm doing this so I've 
always been interested in watching that show, but I'm kind of a chicken. And my sister has been bugging me for a very long time. She's like, you need to watch it. Um, and I'm chicken. Every time I went to, like, you know, think about going to watch it, I would chicken out, literally. Like, I can't press play. I'm so scared. <laughs> it's going to scare the crap out of me. And, you know, my mom and my sister both watch it, and they were like, well, yeah, it's creepy, but it's really good. And they keep reminding me that I did that with Walking Dead as well. I didn't watch Walking Dead at first because I was scared of it, you know, and I just didn't want to see all that stuff. And then I finally caved and started, you know, gave it a chance, and now it's my favorite show. Like, Walking Dead is my favorite show. So um, I I bit the bullet and I finally hit play on American Horror Story and it's it's creepy. I'm about halfway through the first season right now. Um, it's definitely not something I can binge watch by any means because it's a little too much. <laughs> so I have to take a break. <laughs> so I'll watch like three or four episodes and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go do something else for a while and not touch this again until tomorrow. But I am enjoying it actually. Um, but it is pretty creepy. Okay, so um, I made my own little flare badge there with the little number one that I punched out. I used an epoxy one inch um, epoxy sticker, which I purchased a pack of those at Hobby Lobby um, over where like they sell the bottle cap type products. And um, I put that over top so it looks like a little flare badge. I just wanted to give um, that number one a little bit more dimension there. So I'm getting my title stuck down here. And I really like how those um, those alphabets, they just nuzzle in together and fit together nicely and I can kind of, you know, overlap them a little bit. Alright, so I got that done. Um, I'm checking my, I'm looking at my phone here, I'm bringing up the, the sketch to make sure I'm, you know, staying true to it somewhat. <laughs> Um, so I'm using a couple of these little puffy stickers from Twine and Ink. Use a couple of the florals there. And then I grab these labels from Freckled Fawn. I grab a tin that's sitting on my desk of stuff that I'm just trying to get through. And I actually use up um, a couple things, so that's good. Um, but I'm going to use, I believe, two of those labels. The one that I just stuck up there, it says date, so I'm going to put the year. And then I'm going to cut this one down here in half, and I'm going to use half of it up here towards the top, and then half along the bottom as well. I'm just trying to use up my stuff. And in the sketch, there looks like little labels. So I did that. Um, and then I am going to use that brad right there from Freckled Fawn, and that'll use up that package. And I'm going to use a strip of washi tape here. Um, I don't use up an entire strip, but I use up a little bit. And then I'm going to put this brad right um, kind of on top of the label up there on top. And then I'm going to use a little piece of washi tape here, which uses that up. So now I have an empty tag, so I'll try to use that up here soon, too, on a layout somehow of like a layering aspect or something. And I'm really liking the way that that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling. Um, I'm just talking about how, you know, Kaylin really wanted, she begged for that book when she found out about them. And we were a little bit worried about her not being able to read them right away because they're, it's like a fourth grade reading level and she's about to go into second grade. So she's, um, we were kind of like, oh, awesome, you're reading really well. <laughs> we knew she was a good reader, but it, we were just surprised um, that she really just read that by herself and did really well on it. So, um, Okay, so these sequins are from the Jubilee collection so I'm going to grab quite a few of these and kind of sprinkle them out and spread them around and um, add those. And I was about to grab like my glossy accents but then I kept remembering I have these um, I have these glue dots and I don't use glue dots very often at all. And I had said before that next time I use sequins I'm going to use the glue dots and see how those work and it was so much easier. I mean, you just press and stick, press and stick, instead of using the glue and, you know, squirting it out and then making sure that it stays and then letting it dry. Just the glue dots were so much easier for these, so yay. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I have these glue dots, and I just, I don't know why I don't pull them out and use them. But I'm going to really try to think about that more often and use up these glue dots here. And then probably go buy more if it's working so well in the sequence, so...
Okay, so I got all those down. And that is going to complete my layout. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And um, that little stamp right there is also from Gorgeous Girls, and um, Kaylin colored it in for me using Sharpies. So I forgot to mention that. Okay, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.